put our taps now on our bath and our basin. Now we've got two different sizes. Our basin taps, and, and these are what we might call trade taps, contract taps, basic, do the job. For our basin, they would be half inch, okay? So we've got a half, half inch connection. Um, it would be the same for a kitchen sink, but we'll discuss later the kitchen sink taps will be higher, they'll be taller but there will be a half inch. So we don't need a massive amount of water to fill a basin, to fill a kitchen sink. So we've got a half inch connection. Our bath, however, needs quite a bit more water. So we have a three quarter connection. It's a traditional size, thinking about our lower pressure systems with our cisterns and our hot water cylinders, low pressure, so we need to get more water through to fill. So we've got a three quarter connection. On a higher pressure system, we could still have a, a smaller connection for the bath tap. And of course our monoblock taps with our smaller tails, we would find on our bars. The higher pressure system will fill the bath quicker. Now, when you open up your box, you will have a a washer which will go on the top side and that is going to make a watertight seal on the surface so that any surface water doesn't go and drip down through and you will have a bat nut it may be plastic it may be brass now for a steel bath because it is thin and also for a kitchen sink because it is thin we also need a spacing washer, and we, we often call it a top hat washer. Um, it will come with a half inch insert for your kitchen tap, and we'll pull that out to make it a three quarter for a bath tap. And the reason for this, the thread doesn't necessarily go all the way up to the very base of the tap. So, if we put the tap on to a bath, stainless steel, or a kitchen sink, stainless steel, and we do the back nut up, it might do all the way up, but the tap might still be loose. So you have to buy this as a separate product. Rubber washer onto the top, spacer, top hat washer underneath with the back nut. And then we can do that up finger tight, all the way and then we'll have a look at the tool to do it up. Now our basin is exactly the same. I do have an aftermarket product on this tap which is brilliant. This is a, a centralizing washer. Okay so when we put the tap into the basin hole it is loose it will flap around so we need to get the thing straight and we also want to get it in the middle of the hole so this washer will do that for us same as the bath we'll put the tap on the top and the washer underneath and these little lugs will pop into the basin hole and they will centralize the tap in the hole so all we've got to do is get it tight and get it straight. It often is easier to have two people to do that. So how do we get the nut tight? Nice, simple way is the box spanner, okay? We've got three quarter one end for our bath. And we've got the half inch, the other end for our basin. That is definitely the best way. We do get tools like this, which do serve the purpose, but they are fairly difficult to use. Even as a professional plumber, I have my moments with these. They're fairly difficult to use and, and, and to get to grip. So really, the way to do it, nice and simply, is with the box banner. There are some Fan Dabby Dozy tools on the market, which, we can use um, that set like this will set you back about 40 50 pounds these are the next level 
and they will also help us make the water connection to the tap so we can have a little look at those later on so which way round do we get the hot and the cold hot on the left cold on the right hot on the left cold on the right okay that is industry standard for blind people if a blind person goes to a basin a sink a bath and the plumber or whoever's installed it's got it the right way round they would find cold on the right and hot on the left even if it's a lever tap lever to the right cold lever to the left hot so you guys are going to fit your bath taps onto your bath the right way around and your basin taps onto your basin the right way around okay let's do it yeah, yeah.